So we're listening to uh, control voltages generated by this uh, uh, ARP 2500 module uh, 1027 clock sequential control. This is generated a bunch of control voltages and then the output is going through this tune uh, module um, the, uh, from, from 2HP. And what this nice little module does, very small here, but it's a pitch quantizer. So you can basically put in a continuous voltage from 0 to 5 volts um, and then have it quantize it to the 12 steps that we have in a one octave equal tempered scale, which is really kind of handy if you want to do some sequencing and you want to get a melody out of it. If you're using the Korg SQ1, that's always pitch quantized. You turn those little knobs and you're always going to get something that's going to be one of the 12 semitones. But if you're using something like this old school uh, 1027 module, the voltages can be all over the place. So let's hear what right now I got the output from the 1027 going into the input of the tune and at the beginning you heard me selecting between different scales so not only does this uh, quantize the pitch but you can choose to restrict the pitch quantization to a number of like very familiar scales like uh, minor harmonic minor a uh, whole tone diminished and what I was doing at the beginning there was just turning the uh, the scale knob which is kind of cool because I'm putting in these continuous voltages and then by selecting different scales you can kind of hear how it was like a little re uh, uh, motif where the notes were changing within the motif so instead of going through the tune module I'm gonna unplug the cable from here and I'm gonna plug it directly into the pitch input on uh, I've got a, a Korg ARP uh, 2600 I'm gonna plug it directly in and let's hear what it sounds like without So I paused on step eight, and this is the knob for step eight. Now let's hear what it sounds like when I turn the knob for step eight. You can hear it's a continuous pitch control. Now I'm going to instead take the output and plug it into, back into the input of the tune. Take the output from the tune, plug that back into the input of oscillator 3 and let's do the same thing and if I select a different scale we'll get a different slightly different choice of notes Now you'll notice the pitch was, was higher when I was going through the tune module and that's because there's a bias control which kind of allows you to basically transpose. So I'm going to uh, turn up the sequence and I'll turn the bias control. So that is the tune module by 2HP and I, this thing, I, I, I really like it a lot. I think I bought it used off of Reverb for maybe less than a hundred bucks. But it does, the number one thing I was looking for, I wanted to be able to generate a melodic sequence using this old school 1027 and <laughs> there's no way I'm good enough to tweak each little knob here to get it to you know exactly hit on the stepped pitch that I want. I, I want the those intervals to sound very electronic and very you know right on the pitch and certainly it does this. So our uh, again our, our controls are we've got the uh, scale that we want and we heard a uh, lot melodic differences switching between the different scales. We've got biasing which is kind of like a transpose feature. Uh, there's a tune input, there's an output and then there's also a uh, voltage control input for the bias. So we heard me uh, turning the bias up and down. Let's see. So I've got a uh, 
uh, low frequency oscillator that we could plug into the bias input and then use another oscillator to actually sweep that bias control. That's using a triangle wave. Let's see. It's kind of keep going out of the range there. Let's... Square wave. 